and welcome back to Rebecca Reads. So one of the things that I love most about books is that books transport you to other neighborhoods, to other cities, to other states, to other countries. Sometimes they even transport you to make-believe lands. Today's book is called The African Orchestra by Wendy Hartman, illustrated by Joan Rankin. And these women are actually from South Africa and they wrote this book that we get to read from wherever you're watching from today. All right. Let's get started. Cicadas, crickets, beetles, and frogs, seed pods, cocoons, hollowed out logs. Crackling fires, the patter of rain, Thundering hooves on the African plain. And there, see all those zebras that are running by? Birds in the air, in the trees, on the land. Wind in the grass, through the leaves, over sand. In the beginning, when all things began, these were the sounds which were music to man. Here in the warmth is the snap and the crackle. There is the crish in the seed pod rattle. We are the click on the fingertips. We are the hum on the singer's lips. Ours are the songs of the river reed flute. My song belongs in the strings of the lute. I am the frog that sings to the moon. This is the bell that captures my tune. We are the herds that gallop and run. We rumble and boom in the African drum. Through African nights, in African days, this is the music the orchestra plays. And when Africa sleeps, in that silence it seems, just the song of the stars is heard in all dreams. The end. I really enjoyed reading this book with you today. I like that in the book it talks about the sounds that you hear in nature and how those sounds translated into music when man started to make music. I like that the hum of a buzzing bee translates to the sound of voices singing in a choir or that the snap and crackle of a fire translates to the different sounds that you can make with instruments. Do you guys have any of these same noises or sounds in your neighborhood or in your backyard or in your city or town? I definitely have heard the sound of frogs croaking when I was growing up and the sound of crickets chirping. So those are the two sounds in here that I can remember. What about you guys? All right, well, there we go. Thank you so much for reading with me today and I can't wait to show you what book I have in store for next week. Thanks for stopping by to read a book. I'm so happy that you came to take a look. Reading can be fun and help us to explore. We use imagination and so much more. I had so much fun getting to learn with you. See you next time when we read something new. Bye, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good week.